pelvic prolapse is when a woman's pelvic structures begin to sort of sink into the pelvis a little bit or prolapse out through the vaginal opening or towards the vagina from the place that they would normally sit. Pelvic prolapse is more common in women who do a lot of heavy lifting. People that uh, tend to have chronic respiratory problems, chronic cough, asthma, COPD, very commonly obesity actually is one of the problems as well because as we become heavier that creates a little bit of pressure downwards towards the gravity, sort of the obvious reasons for things kind of making their way downward. Probably the most common time a woman is going to come to is noticing prolapses is right after a birth experience, a vaginal delivery in general. Also, you know, as we become menopausal and everything's getting older, sadly, our tissue isn't holding up like it used to. We do teach simple things like trying to teach women to recognize that pelvic musculature and learn how to do what are called kegels, where you actually contract. There are surgical interventions that are actually quite common uh, that have been done for many years, are getting better and better at those now using um, safe graft materials, things like that if they need to. But certainly, uh, if it gets to the point where it's really bothering women on a day-to-day -day basis. It's keeping them from doing the things they love to do, keeping them from being active and healthy. It's probably time and important to come into the doctor to have that evaluated and just try to try to understand what might be better choices specifically for them or are there specific things they could be doing uh, to help mitigate that severity over time. Sometimes I'll have women that'll come in that are worried about a prolapse that they've recognized, but it isn't necessarily causing them much real day-to-day -day problem. It just kind of scares them a little bit that they've noticed that it exists and sometimes they just need a little bit of reassurance about how common it, re it is actually it sort of reassures them and gives them a sense that they're that they're not um, having as scary a problem as they thought maybe they were when they originally discovered the problem.